Hi everyone, I'm Robin and today I'm going to taste through the peach brandies that came from the Reject Peaches. Just as a refresher, I had three batches of peach wines fermenting. Now batch one, two, and three all tasted very different. So batch one was very much like a sour, sour beer. Um, whereas batch three was more like a dark and fruity beer. I don't know why I'm comparing these to beers, but there's no wines that I've had out there that actually taste like what I'm describing. Um, and then batch two was kind of like a combo between batches one and three. So it had those sour characteristics, but it also had some rich fruitiness to it. I took those three batches of wines to my lab and ran them through a low wines and high wines distillation. Batch one actually got split into two low wines distillations because it was quite a large batch and there were some residual sugars left over so I didn't want to chance it and get any uh, boiling over. Once I did the first half of the low wines, I then took those low wines and tossed them in with the remaining wine for a, another low wines distillation. I know, it's complicated. I got out 2,400 milliliters at about 42% ABV. For batch two, the low wines distillation yielded just under 3,000 milliliters at 32% ABV. So I took that distillation down to a lower proof. And the batch three low wines distillation yielded just under 2,400 mils at 43% ABV. Now, as I was doing the low wine distillations, um, I was paying attention to the spirit that was coming out of it. And batches one and two had a similar flavor profile. There were those sour notes that came off right in the beginning, and then it transformed into some really fruity flavors. Um, so I decided to combine the low wines from batches one and batches two together since they did taste pretty similar. The low wines of batch three never had that sour thing come forward. Obviously the wine was not sour at all. So I did not combine that with batches one and two. I decided to do a high wines distillation with those low wines. So batch three stayed on its own, whereas batch one and two got combined together for the high wines distillation. During the high wines distillations, I split the cuts into a bunch of different jars and I switch jars whenever the distillate that's coming off the still starts to taste different. I then went back and tasted through all those jars and decided which ones to keep. The high wines distillation for batches one and two yielded 1650 milliliters at 70% ABV. The high wines distillation for batch three yielded 850 mils at 74% ABV. So now it's the fun part. Now it's time to taste those final spirits. So let's start with the batch one and two spirit. So there's some unripe banana in here and some melon, like a honeydew melon. There's also some red grape notes a little bit of nail polish remover. There's a spice that I can't put my finger on. Ooh, there's the peach. There's almost like a sweet grass thing. Maybe that's wheat grass. And like a dark jam. Boysenberry? There's some ethereal, like perfumey characteristics. Some citrus, more like orange. Mm, more like orange blossom, actually. It reminds me of a white rum. Now let's see how it tastes. That's lovely. Okay, so there's definitely heat. This is 70% ABV. It's got a super creamy mouth feel. Immediately, it's like biting into a really, really, really juicy peach. There, it's, it, yeah, it's a juicy fruit thing right off the bat. So mainly peaches, but also there's some like nectarine and like the little oranges, little cutie oranges. 
there's apricot preserves. There's definitely a tannic aspect to this. Some spicy characteristics like cloves and star anise some grassiness as well as some bitter chocolate and some really really dark like dried prunes figs as well dried cherries a little bit of a pine characteristic some black tea yeah this is delightful very very nice on to the batch three brandy this one has a little bit more nail polish remover right off the bat and a little bit like pine salt, but I can find those similar like green banana, melon notes and the citrus. It's similar to the batch one and two brandy, but then this has a little bit more of like these dark notes and some savory notes. This is gonna sound weird, but it's a little bit like meatballs and tomato sauce. There's a honey glazed ham note too. There's some caramelized fruits. It's like those canned oranges that come soaked in syrup. Some raisins and let's see how it tastes. This one also has some heat, but again, it's not unbearable. Um, it's got a creamy texture as well. And right off the bat, it gives you that juiciness again, that fruit juiciness. However, this is more like gushers rather than really ripe fruits. It's less bitter and more of the peachiness comes forward than uh, the one and two brandy. And it's more like a peach cobbler rather than fresh peaches. It's like I have a mouthful of raisins. It also has that apricot note and it's also a little bit grassy. There's some nutmeg in here and a little bit like green tea um, and like a custardy dessert. When I compare the noses side by side, it really brings out the meatball note in <laughs> batch three. Meatball tomato sauce note. The meat sauce. Ooh, meat sauce. And it brings out some sour notes that I was not picking up immediately um, on the batch one and two brandy. The sour notes are very similar to the sour notes that I was getting in the wine. All in all, I am extremely pleased with how these brandies turned out, both of them. Uh, there's a lot of similarities between the two of them, and they also have their unique characteristics. Um, I am going to play around with blending them together, um, make little tinctures to see how they taste as one brandy batch. Um, and I will also play around with maturation. That's it. That's, that's enough for today. So stay tuned to see how a little bit of oak transforms these peach brandies. Why would peach brandy smell like meat sauce? Relatively similarly, similar, relatively. Yeah. Biting into a gusher, gushers, gushers. Hello, hello, hello. Smells like peach spirit. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and things.